of opening the first trial in history for crimes against the peace of the world imposes a grave responsibility. They didn't, they didn't seek justice. To have people hear what he had to say that happened and for it not to be uh, revised or distorted, I think that's all he wanted. The truth is in, important is what happened. There's no way to give back. There's no eye for eye. The only justification or justice that I seek is the truth and that, that their stories be told and not lied. The phenomenon that you can take someone's personal memory and it, it totally it impacts a, a whole community, you know, a culture and people that aren't even born yet to reflect on and see. The biggest contribution I would say would be his courage. People say, oh, we should kill them all. Or kill, of course. This shouldn't be the purpose. We should sue him. Have court proceedings. Because I don't give a damn if he's killed or not. Because it takes a minute and he hangs. Most important is his testimony. Because this will last forever. It was all about documenting truth and not about justice. I see, you know, truth being rewritten everywhere. So I think that that's the biggest fear for Holocaust survivors is not, not even the search for meaning and not the search for justice, but the search that truth doesn't disappear. These series of photographs of my father's home in the little village of Itzpitsa, and the pictures go back from like the 60s. Every year and every decade as time goes on, the home becomes more and more dilapidated mm. and, and then it's just rubble. But when I went there in 2018, it was an empty lot. All my years growing up with the Holocaust and the death camp Sobibor, the hardest thing to see is that the empty spot. It's not justice, it's, it's acknowledgement. And what is the absence of acknowledgement? It's just a blank space. Well, you know, my dad died here at home and I think it was hard for him to let go. And I, I did promise him. I said I'd take care of everything. If I had to risk my life to tell the truth about what happened, I would risk my life to tell the truth about what happened. I'm not doing something, but a lot of people in 1943, 4, 5, just not seen and possibly walk out of the cemetery. My life.